I just want to raise something with you, John and Liam. We have a, a, a listener um, whose name is Ray Corbett, and he sent me an email which was uh, very critical of our uh, appreciation, if you like, of Tottenham. He, lo- he loves the podcast, all right, but he says. Uh, as I write, Spurs are in second, just four points off the top. This is something he wrote Friday or Saturday. Uh, this, despite spending nothing, key players missing and playing at Wembley, he says it's a truly remarkable performance given the resources of the other teams in the top six. Um, and I think it is. he goes on to make a number of other uh, good points, really, intelligent points. He's clearly a Spurs fan. Um, and when you look at the league table uh, now, they're two points behind Manchester City, uh, the four points behind Liverpool, who have a game in hand. But they have had to play without Harry Kane and Deli Alley. Uh, they had Son away uh, twice, actually, for two long spells uh, in the Asian Cup and qualifying for the Asian Cup. Uh, so, uh, Ray's point is that we haven't given Spurs their due and it's fair to say John that when we've talked about it privately and and here on the podcast they're a hard team to get a fix on aren't they? Yeah they, well I think they've done brilliantly I mean I think uh, to be fair in the podcast that we've, we've been critical of uh, of, uh, of Spurs uh, and I'm certainly talking about my own case it's been more critical of the situation at Spurs rather than Pochettino and the team yeah. I mean you know, it's it's against the the, the the lack of spending and the lack of uh, 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 things that he needs. But I think we, the Spurs have done brilliantly well. I think we praise them for what they've done uh, with the small squad that they have. Uh, I think the reason that we don't pick them for, to, to win the Premiership yeah. is, that, is that, that that what's happening now was inevitable that you would get injuries to Kane and Deli Ali and various players that they've no real replacements for. Now I think they've done brilliantly to be where they where the, where they are. But I, was, I think we'd be more critical of the setup and Levy not giving them the resources or not having the resources to really challenge for this. And it's, 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 it, the season's not over by a long way. But in the, in the competitions that they're in, again, they're likely to pick up uh, injuries, more injuries, uh, which will stop them being real, real contenders for the big trophies. Yeah, Liam, this, one other thing about them that strikes me is on the big days, and I'm thinking about semi-final the Carabao Cup, for example. On, on the big days, they sometimes just don't turn up. Well, I don't know about not turning up. I think, and you know, to be fair, in the Carabao Cup, they were missing Harry Kane and Deli Ali. You know, yeah. so uh, you, uh, they're big two players. best forwards. You know, yeah. along with Ericsson. But I would agree with John that uh, we have given them credit for what they've done on the field. They, they've done remarkably well, considering. They haven't uh, been able to spend any money because of the stadium. They've done remarkably well because they've had the disappointment of not being able to go into their new stadium when all the fans were told and they all bought season yeah. tickets that they were going to move in in August. And still here we are now in uh, in February and there's still no sign of them getting in there. So uh, all in all, in adversity, I think you, we have given Spurs credit. Yeah. Uh, but it's 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 not being critical of them if you if you if you say you just don't think they're going to be there at the end of the season uh, to match Liverpool and Man City. I think uh, the squads that Liverpool have and Man City have are far superior to to what Tottenham have. Yes, they've done well, Tottenham. Yes, but you know we've got to call it as we see it, and I don't think I don't think they're going to trouble those two when it comes to the when it comes to winning the league. Uh, and it's as simple as that. Yeah, so, I know. Uh, 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 maybe, maybe we do talk a lot more about the other teams, but yeah. when we have spoken about Spurs, Eamon, I think we've always given them credit. Okay.